Добрый вечер. Добрый вечер. It's wonderful to see you all. Лепо видеть вас сегодня. Um, when people are interested in something oriental, they actually don't know what they are doing. Когда <laughs> люди заинтересованы за нечто, что долезе с истока, они заправо и не знают, что делать. Mostly, what Westerners see is just the packaging. Оно, что Запад обычно видит, то есть само тай облик. Оно, в чем его упаковано, все оно, что его внутри. And mostly, what you reach uh, by this packaging is something we call New Age. А оно, что можемо да дохватимо, значит, само гладючи тай пакет и нечто, что да назовем New Age. Zen was late in this New Age package. It didn't come first. Zen dolazi kasni u celom tom paketu, on ne dolazi kao prvi. Why? Zbog čega? Because it's very difficult to sell. Iz prostog razloga što je vrlo teško prodati tako nešto. So mostly what sells well, whether it's traditional or new age, is something that makes you happier. Ono što se lako prodaje, to je ono što može na jedan lak način da vas učini srećnije. Or more beautiful. Ili još lepše. Or stronger. Ili jače. Or richer. Ili bogati. Or teaches you magic. Ili će vas naučiti nekoj magi. Now when you want to get all this, Zen is not your product to buy. I, pošto ste zainteresovani za nešto tako, Zen definitivno nije nešto što vas onda interesuje. Usually, you come to Zen when everything else is already out of the window. Znači, Zen bi onda bila neka posljednja opcija do koje dolazite tek onda kada sve ono što ste probali ide kroz prostor. And most of the time, your only experience, what you believe, is either fulfillment or disappointment. I onda ono na kraju što će da dobijete, ili će vas u potpunosti ispuniti i očarati, ili ćete biti potpuno razočarani. Zen is different. Zen je drugačiji. It doesn't offer you anything that you do not already have. Zen vam ne nudi ništa što zapravo već i vi sami nemate ovog momenta. But that something which you already have, you may have never seen. Ali ono što vi imate u ovom trenutku, vrlo moguće da nikada niste videli. So, when Zen says, look inside, then we actually don't know where to look. I kada Zen kaže da okrenemo pogled i da gledamo unutra, mi zapravo i ne znamo gde da gledamo, da je to unutra. Should I look into my head? Da li da gledam u svoju glavu? I only see this brain there very complicated. Vidim samo moza koja je vrlo komplikovan. I should look into my heart, which is beating many times a minute. I only find this big bunch of emotions and energy there. Ili da gledam u svoje srce koje je bije tako konstantno i prepuno je emocije i neke energije. Should I look somewhere else? Also very complicated. Ili da gledam negde drugde, također komplikovan. Number one teaching in Zen is direction. And this direction is where to look when you want to find your true nature. Prva stvar, prvo učenje u Zenu je baš pravac. Gde gledati unutra. And that direction is defined by a question. A taj pravac se određuje pitanje. So if you are really interested in the nature of human beings and the nature of this world and the universe, only one question remains. Tako da, ako ste zainteresovani za pravu sobstvenu prirodu, pravu prirodu univerzuma, onda ostaje samo jedno pitanje. What is this? Šta je ovo? So what is this that sees with your eyes, hears with your ears? Šta je to što vidi očima, šta je to što čuje sluhom? What is it that thinks with your brain? Šta je to što misli mozgu? What is it that beats your heart? Šta je to što upravlja tim srcem, što ga čini da bije? In other words, where do your emotions and your thoughts come from? Ili nekim drugim rečima, odakle emocije i misli dolaze? Is there a substance of which all of this is made? Da li je to neki materijal od čega je sve ovo sastavljeno? So when you look at that question, what do you find? I kada gledate u to pitanje, šta onda nalazite? And of course I'm not going to tell you. I naravno, bez obrada neće čovjek da ne kaže šta je. Very bad teacher. 
<laughs> Because it's your job to find it. Zato što je baš posao da to pronađe. I can only tell you that you are all capable of that. Ali on može da garantuje da su svi prisutni i sposobni da to uoče. We can even give you good teaching on a technique or techniques how to do that. A, možemo vas naučiti tehnici kako to uraditi. But we cannot give that as a zen pill for you. Ali ne možemo da vam damo ono što treba da nađete. What would happen if we did? Šta bi bilo kada bi vam mi to dali? You would lose everything. Vi bi izgubili sve. Somebody who tells you your future steals your future. Neko ko vam kaže vi ste budućnost zapravo vam krade budućnost. Somebody who tells you who you are steals your true nature. Oni koji vam kažu ko ste zapravo kradu ono što stvarno jeste. Somebody who takes you on a special vehicle and just ferries you, tags you along your path, steals your way. Uh, oni koji vas uhvate na nekom početku puti vuku vas sve vreme putu u nekom pravcu, kradu vaš put. So Zen is the adult version of Buddhism. Zen je odrasla verzija Budizma. You stop being a child. Prestajete da budete dete. It teaches you independence and self-reliance. Uh, uči, nas na, uči vas na jedan potpuno nezavisan način da se oslonite na sebe. But it doesn't throw you into an isolated practice. Ali vas ne baca u neku izolaciju vežbanja. You practice together with others. Vežbate sa svima zajedno. You join your effort. I udružujete zajedničku snagu da... But you do not expect something from the outside world, something essential to be given to you, which changes you overnight. Ali ne očekujete od nikoga sa strane ili čak iz te grupe da će vam dati nešto što će vas promeniti uh, tokom noći. Somebody comes to our temple, looks at the building, feels the atmosphere, they say, oh, it's a miracle. Some people say that. And then we thank them and we say, it's hard work. Thank you very much. <laughs> A, neko dođe u hram, radi se ovom pasa, zakasne u Mađarskoj, i kaže, Aha, pa ovo je neverovatno i gleda u to, a oni se zahvale i kažu da, ali to je bio težak rad. You are capable of that miracle inside your mind. All of you. Znači, svi ste vi sposobni da zadavite u svoj um. First and most important precondition, do not sell your identity. <laughs> a, prvi uslov za tako nešto je nemojte prodati svoj identitet. Many people are ready to buy it. Mnogi ljudi su spremni da ga kupu. And I don't mean your identity card. I ne misli na ličnu kartu. I mean your true self. On misli na ono što stvarno jesi. You give up your freedom, you give up your responsibility, then somebody really tells you who you are, what you can do, what you cannot do. Prodate sebe nekom i onda će vam taj reći i kosti i šta možete da uraditi, kako ćete da uraditi. There are many books this thick that tells you about the world, about human beings, about past, present, future. And if you read all that and identify with that, you lose your way. So there's nothing wrong with books. Nema ničeg lošeg u knjigama. There's nothing wrong with trying many, many teachers and teaching and schools. Nema ničeg lošeg u tome da pročitate puno knjiga, da promenite puno učitelj. But don't sell your heart. Ali nemojte prodavati svoje srce. What you should know that all of you are capable of attaining awakening. That's very important. Ono što svi treba da znate to je da ste sposobni svi vi da dostignete buđi. How do we know that? Kako to znamo? Everybody can say I am. Svako od nas može da kaže ja sam. That's the key. To je zapravo ključ sve. But since we do not understand what is this I am, it's also the biggest hindrance. Ali isto tako što mi ne znamo šta je to ja sam, je jedno veliko hindrance. Prepreka. Prepreka. So if we clarify what this I is, then we are right at the gate. Pa ako razjasnimo šta je to ja sam, mi smo zapravo na samom ulazu, na samoj kapi. And for that you do not have to read the whole library. I za, zato vam ne treba cela biblioteka i svoto čitanje da bi to znao. You can read as much as you want, anything you want, but that gives you only limited knowledge. 
možete pročitati bilo šta što želite, ali to će vam dati samo neko ograničeno znanje. There's a Chinese saying, if you read one book, you have to take 10.000 steps. Postoji kineska izreka koja kaže, ako pročitate jednu knjigu, mora da napravite 10.000 koraka. So ultimately, we do not depend on the scriptures. Ne zavisimo ni od kakvih zapisa. The second principle is that we directly point to human mind. I mentioned this before when I said, what is this? That's directly pointing to human mind. Drugi princip je direktno ukazivanje na um. On je zapravo kada je pričao o tome, ja sam, šta je ovo upravo ukazivao na to direktno na um. And just like in the West, there are many definitions of God or gods, In the Orient there are many criteria for enlightenment. I kao što na zapadu postoji mnogo definicija šta je Bog, kakav je Bog, tako na istoku postoji puno definicija o probuđenju. So how do you know which one is correct? Tako da, kako vi znate šta je to tako? The third principle of Zen is that originally there are no criteria. Treći princip Zena je da zapravo i nema neko kriterijum. If you experience and attain your true nature, that's it. Ako vi iskusite i dostignete svoju pravu prirodu, to je to. So what is your true nature? Pa šta je vaša prava priroda? When you hear this sound, you had no thinking. Kada čujete taj zvuk, vi prestajete da razmišljate u tom momentu. Right after that, you had a reaction, but that's not what I'm talking about. Posle toga dolazi reakcija, ali on govori o nečem drugom pre toga. What is important that there was one moment, exactly when the stick hit the table and you heard this, ta, then nobody was thinking. To je jedna nanosekunda kada, tačno kada se čuo taj zvuk, ta, prestali ste da razmišljate. When you meditate, You will not need the stick. Your mind will do the job. In fact, those minds that have been traveling on this path will be helping you very, very clearly just by being present in the same room, same time. So the fourth principle of Zen is transmission from mind to mind. Tako da dolazimo do četvrtog principa koja je zapravo prenošenje znana i konekcije s umana umu. In other words, there is no way that some relics or images or anything material can convey the essence of Zen. Tako da zapravo ne postoji ništa što je materijalnog oblika, neka relikvija, bilo šta što bi moglo da uputi na ono što Zen stvarno jeste. So, next question could be, if we do all this, and suppose the fruition is there, and we wake up, we experience our true nature, what do we do with it? I sada se postavlja pitanje, ako sve to mi ispoštamo i praktikujemo i dođemo do probuđenja, šta uraditi sa probuđenjem? Then you can actually start to clean up your own life. E onda zapravo možete da krenete od početka da čistite sobstveni život. We make that effort in our daily lives, every single day. That's okay. Mi činimo napor za to svakog dan. But do we have the key to our own gate? Ali da li imamo ključ za sobstvenu kapiju? Can we open our own heart? Da li možemo da otvorimo svoje srce? Can we make our own ego disappear? Da li možemo da učinimo da naš ego nestane? If not, we all need help. Ako ne, onda svi trebamo pomoć. And the way of Zen is such help. I zeni u tom smislu pomoć. It's not sweet, it has no sugar, it doesn't make you happy right away. Nema šećera, nije sladak i ne načini vas srećnim istog momenta. How could it make you happy if you have the wrong concept of you and happiness? It's not gonna work. Kako bi vas i načinio srećnim ako imate koncept toga šta ste vi i koncept sreće? Jednostavno neće raditi. So, in Taoism there is a saying, good teaching is bitter, Correct path seems to lead backwards. 
Because it's not what you want to get. But this is something that you need. It's up to your own recognition whether you admit that or not. Everything is totally up to your decision. So Buddhism never converts anybody. Budizam nikada ne obreće, znači ne okreće nikada. Simply because there's nothing to convert to. Iz prostog razloga što nema čemu da se okreće. And also it doesn't force the teaching onto anyone. I također ne forsira učenje prema nikome, znači nikada. Either you feel a natural attraction to it and you start to follow it or not. And everybody has to accept that. Ili vas prirodno dovede do sebi, jednostavno krenete to da pratite, ili se to jednostavno ne desi. In this world, we have many problems. U ovom svetu imamo mnogo problema. Where do these problems come from? Odakle dolaze svi? Perhaps we can agree that if we do not see the cause of the problem, then we cannot fix it. Verovatno svi možemo da se složimo sa time da ako ne vidimo uzrok problema, ne možemo ga ni rešiti. Not seeing the cause of our own suffering is called avidya by the Buddha, which means not seeing. And when you start to practice, you see your own illusions, your own anger, greed and ignorance. And once you cleared that and got rid of that, then you can begin to see. I kada krenete da vežbate, onda možete vidjeti svoje iluzije, svoje neznanje, svoj bez, svoju padnju i onda produžavate dalje sa vežbom. Again, seeing, how does that make money for you? How does that make you happy? How does that give you creativity and joy? How does that work? Kako vam to viđenje zapravo donosi novac money? Jusen? Kako vam donosi novac, kako vam donosi taj način uživanja, šta se tu dešava sa tim viđenjem? If your mind is not clear, you cannot do correct business. Ako vaš um nije čist, ne možete učiniti pravi posao. If your mind is not clear, you cannot be creative. Ako vaš um nije čist, ne možete biti kreativni. And if your mind is not clear, you cannot really enjoy what you get. Ako vaš um nije čist, nećete moći da uživati u onome šta dobijete, šta god bilo. That's why people lose all these things very quickly, in a matter of months or years. Zbog toga ljudi gube ono što imaju, da li u pitanju jedan mesec ili godinu. So there are four major areas of life. Postoje četiri osnovne oblasti života. The first is, the most obvious, is material existence. We have a body, we have clothes, we have objects, we have a place, we have belongings. We call it material possessions. Znači prva je materijalna, ono što posjedujemo materijalno, krećemo od tela u kome se nalazimo, a onda kasnije stvari koje koristimo. The next area is actually how we get that. We have to do something, we have to be creative, we have to have arts and crafts and jobs. So that's what we call creativity and work. That's the other area. Druga oblast je kreativnost i posao, to je strad, ono šta radimo, kako radimo, kako bi došli do svega onoga što u onoj prvoj oblasti. And then if you do these two things right, then you have the next area which is enjoyment. Not just material, but also mental enjoyment, when you feel happy or unhappy. I onda ako ove prve, dobro prođete kroz prve dve oblasti, onda dolazi treća oblast koja predstavlja uživanje na osnovu onoga što ste uradili ili neuživanje, znači nezadovoljstvo. And then the fourth is something very interesting, we call that insight or awakening or the quality of your mind altogether. I onda dolazi ono interesantno četvrta posljednja oblast, to je kvalitet uma, ali na globalnom nivou, ne govorimo samo i na individualnom nivou. So, if you have a car, which part of the car is most important? The front, the back, 
the top or the driver? Kada imate auto, šta je najbitnije? Da li je prednji deo automobila, da li je zadnji deo, da li je možda krov, pod ili je vozač? Obviously, if you are learned enough, you know the driver is the most important part of the car. Tako da, ako i razmislite, u principu bit će jasno da je vozač onaj koji je najbitniji deo, sastavni deo automobila. But the driver is not the car. Ali vozač nije automobil. The driver only uses the car. Vozač koristi automobil. You are not your body, but you are using your body. Vi niste vaše telo, ali koristite vaše telo. You are not your thoughts, but you create your thoughts. Vi niste vaše misli, ali vi stvarate. You are not your emotions, but you create your emotions. Vi niste vaše emocije, ali stvarate vaše emocije. You are not your karma, but you create your karma. Vi niste vaša karma, ali vi stvarate tu karma. So, looking at this very clearly can give you insight, awakening, equanimity, that's balance and internal strength. Tako da, ako pogledate zapravo to unutra, to vam sve daje neku snagu, the strength, strength, balance, i balance, clarity, čistoću pogleda. So that's something you can use to have better quality of life and death. To je nešto što možete koristiti da bi imali kvalitetniji život i kvalitetniju smrtu. We are so much focused on life and all these three areas that I mentioned. We really forget that one day we get out of this car, we will lose this body, and then what? Toliko smo se fokusirali, znači na sve ono što nam se dešava u životu, da ponekad potpuno zaboravimo da ćemo jednog dana izaći iz toga automobila, to jest izgubit ćemo telo. I šta onda? That time books will not help you. E, u tom delu knjige vam neće pomoći. Ideas will not help you. Ideje vam neće pomoći. Friends will not help you. Doctors will not help you. Either you can be clear and just undone, undo your seat belt, open the door, get out of your car, or you will suffer unnecessarily. I onda, pošto vam niko neće pomoći jedino, vi možete da otkupšate svoj pojas, otvorite vrata, izađete i pomognete sami sebi. Most people... When they die, they go to the junkyard with the car itself. It's not such a good experience. Mnogo ljudi koji umre zajedno, odlazi zapravo zajedno sa telom i to baš i nije tako lepo iskustvo. It doesn't have to happen. Nije neophodno da se desi. Your true nature, which you can attain by practicing Zen, is beyond life and death. Vaša prava priroda, koju uvidite kroz praktikovanje Zena, vas vodi iznad života i smrti. And that experience is very useful every single moment, including your life right now. I tako nešto vrlo interesantno svakog momenta, uključujući i ovaj moment na sad. When your mind is clear like space, clear like a mirror, kada je vaš um potpuno čist, kao ogledalo, kao svemir, then this moment is clear. Onda je i ovaj moment potpuno jasno. Then you see everything and everyone as they truly are. Onda vidite sve što je ispred vas onako kako stvarno jeste. In other words, you recognize your own situation and condition very clearly. Prepoznajte svoje stanje i situaciju veoma jasno. It sounds very simple, but most of the time we have so many dreams and ideas about our own true situation that we don't recognize that. Zvuči vrlo jednostavno, ali zapravo i nije, jer u većini vremena imamo toliko misli i toliko smo zauzeti tim nekim stvarima da ne prepoznajemo. Illusions are so strong, you can make yourself believe that you are driving your own sports car and actually you are sitting on your own toilet and just reading a newspaper. Ilozije su toliko jake da možete biti ubeđeni da vozite neki novi sportski auto, a zapravo ste na WC šolji i čitate novi. Relationships are the same. Veze između ljudi, ista priča. If your mind is clear, you have compassion, you have wisdom, you can recognize what kind of human relationships you have. Ako vam je um bistar, znači potpuno čist kao ogledalo, možete da prepoznate tačno kakvu 
relaciju, znači kakvu vezu imate sa ljudima? We believe many times that we are the best of the best when it comes to human relationships and we do not see our own hands when we cause suffering and misery to others. I mi smo ubeđeni da mi najbolje stojimo u vezami, da nama najbolje ide i ne primećujemo dela sobstvenih ruku kako nanosimo patnju drugima. And third area is function, how we speak, how we act. I treća oblast je kako govorimo, kako se ponošamo. Sometimes we really don't understand the true meaning of our own words. Our mouth is moving, but what do we actually perceive of what we say? Nekada prosto i ne razumemo same sebe, ne razumemo reči koje izgovaramo. And most of the time we do not see the consequences of our own actions. I najčešće zapravo ne vidimo posledice naših akcija. Maybe one step, maybe two steps, but not further ahead. Možda korak ili dva napred i vidimo šta će biti, ali ne više od toga. If you practice correct meditation, your mind becomes clear like space, clear like a mirror. We call that don't know or no thinking. Ako praktikujemo meditaciju, dolazimo do toga da je um bistar kao svemir, kao ogledalo i to zovemo don't know, ne znam ili bez razmišljenja. You remember? Not this time. <laughs> so that's more than I should have said about the promises involved in Zen practice. Originally, there is no promise. I to je ono što sam mogao da kažem i više od onoga što sam trebao da kažem o Zen praksi, od onoga što sam obećao, mada u originalu i ne bi nikako. And you didn't hear me talk about Chinese and Korean Zen masters or the history of Buddhism and Zen and Taoism deliberately. Deliberately. By my own will. Not because I forgot, because I didn't want to say that. Ali nije ništa govori uopšte o Budizmu, o Zenu i o raznim učiteljima. Ne zato što je zaboravio, nego jednostavno nije žal o tome da priče. This is all secondary. History... Sve je to nešto sekundarno, istorija. Religion. Religija. All these, like cultures, they are products. Kultura, sve su to produkti. They are not so important. Oni nisu tako važni. You are important. Vi ste važni. Your own heart is important. Vaše srce je važno. Your own awakening, your path is important. Vaš put i vaše buđenje je ono što je važno. So if I can help you by answering some of your questions, I'll try and do so with the best of my abilities, so feel free to ask. Tako da, ako može ikako da pomogne sa nekim vašim pitanjama, bit će mu drago da pomogne. Tako da, izvolite, vreme za pitanje. Ne vidite se vi ovdje. Kako da iščistimo umu? How to clear our minds. What color is this screen behind me? Koje boje je ovo iza? White. Very clear. Very good. Keep this mind and then your life will be no problem. But can you see your own thoughts, your own emotions, your own actions, your own speech, all these four, with the same clarity as you see that the screen is white? Ali da li možete da vidite, kao što ste videli da je ovo vrlo jasno belo, bez ikakvih problema, da li u svakom momentu možete da vidite i vaš govor, vaše misli, vaše delovanje, isto tako jasno kao što ste videli. If not, we all need to practice meditation. Ako niste, onda nam treba praktikovanje meditacije. Meditation does the job. Meditacija završava posao. If you do the job. Ako vi uradite to. More questions? Interesujem je meditacija. Meditacija samo po sebi umiruje um. I tada je lako da se osjećamo savršeno, bez misli i da uživamo u tome. Ali kako meditaciju održati u nekom aktivnom stanju kad um mora da radi, mora da funkcioniše u standardnom nekom ritmu života? A da to ne bude opet neko opterećenje jer meditacija podrazumeva bez truda stanje, nekako tako? Da sam... Okay. Uh, when we're meditating, 
no problem, everything is clear, we are peaceful, the mind is peaceful, but how to keep that mind during the everyday life? <laughs> so when you meditate, everything's peaceful and clear. Perfect. So why don't you take this seat and answer the rest of the questions? Uh, Razumno se, preveć ćemo zbog drugog. Zbog, druga. A, zbog čega, ako je takva situacija, zbog čega onda ne sedneš ovdje i svima nama objasniš zašto mi je to tako? If you meditate like that, something is not happening. A ako meditiraš na taj način da postoji taj problem, onda je nešto problem. That's when we say technique meditation. Zbog toga mi kažemo tehnika meditation. So you grab a mantra or grab a visual image, grab your breath. And as long as you're attached to that, everything's peaceful and happy. But when you leave the meditation form, you get out of the temple or Zen center, or whatever place you did that, all disappears. So let me ask you a question. Can you eat the cookbook? Can you drink the cup? So if you understand these questions, then you understand what's the problem with this very peaceful, perfect meditation. Big problem. Uh, ako razumete odgovore, to jest ova sama pitanja, onda je vrlo jasno izbog čega se javlja. So the only problem is, you use the technique for some peace and happiness and clarity at a very, very superficial level. And this is not about you. I'm not judging you. I'm talking about this kind of practice. Uh, ne osuđuje, to uvek govori uopšteno zapravo, ali to je, to je problem kod ovoga, znači kada se praktikuje tačno ta neka određena. Why was this a good question? Because many people in the West have their problems at that level. Because they understand practice like that and take that direction, they reach this kind of peace and happiness very quickly and they want to stop there. And guess what? It's not possible. Uh, to je problem kod mnogih, znači nije sada kod tebe da se javlja svuda u svetu, znači baš upravo se ljudi vezuju kada je u pitanju meditacije za tehniku i imaju dostignuto neko stanje i oni bi da produže tako, ali to se neće desiti. So please be prepared, when you clean house you get dirty. Tako da molim vas pripremite se, ako čistite kuću morate postati prde. When you open up your own self, the deeper layers of your psyche produces a lot of junk. Kada krenete da otvarate sebe, što više otvarate sebe, to više djubrete. So this is the movie you directed long time ago, just boxed it up, suppressed it in your subconscious and never watched it again. To je zapravo film koji ste vi sami režirali nekada, stavili ste ga u neku kutiju, potisnuli ga duboko u neku posvest i nabraćate više pažnje. And when you start really going deeper and ask yourself what is this, then all this movie theater opens up. And then you see things you've never seen before. I onda kada krenete da praktikujete meditaciju, počnete da se otvarati od jednom stvari koje nikada niste videli. And of course, your job is not just to be a viewer or a watcher. I također vaš posao nije da budete samo posmatrač i da gledate. But while you're watching the movie, you find your own hand in it as a director. I dok gledate to možete da pronađete svoju ruku koja je zapravo režirala to. So when you see some tough karma, you can also ask this question, where does this come from? Kada vidite tako tešku karmu, možete da postavite pitanje odakle zapravo ovo dolazi. And then you can see a whole line of cause and effect. I onda možete da vidite čitavu liniju uzroka i postavlja. And that's not fun, that's not happy, that's not pleasant, it doesn't make you feel better, but it makes you an adult. It makes you mature. It makes you a true and complete human being. So seeing that karma right at the very depth of your own heart enables you to have a choice. I kada vidite tako nešto negde na dnu vašeg srca to vam omogućava, daje vam Perception gives you distance and accuracy at the same time. Takva percepcija kada vidite sve to stvara jednu distancu u isto vreme od svega toga. 
This kind of breathing space we call mind space. There is openness in your mind. Mi taj prostor zovemo prostor za disanje. Postoji neki razmak slobode u prostoru. And in this space you have clarity and you have choice. I u tom prostoru vi imate jasnoću i imate izbor. Choice without thinking based on momentary perception. Izbor koji nastaje na osnovu momentalnog sagledavanja svega toga. In most critical times, in most crises of your life, you have no time to think, you have no time to introspect, you have to act, speak immediately. That's crisis. U mnogim kriznim situacijama tokom života nije nam mogućeno da razmišljamo šta ćemo učiniti. Da razmišljamo ili govorimo, moramo reagovati odmah. What kind of decisions do you make at that time? Kakve odluke donosite to moment? Those decisions are defined by your own mind quality, by your own clarity, by your own wisdom, compassion or the lack of all that. Tako da u tom momentu odluka dolazi na osnovu vaše otvorenosti, vaše svesnosti, sa osjećanja koje imate ili sa suprotne strane nedostatka svega toga. Critical times are not defined by results, but by the decisions that you make. Kritično vreme ne, nisam najbolje razumao, ne nastaje ponašanjem mislim. That's when your character shows. Tada vaš karakter dolazi do izražaja. That tells the world who you are. To govori svetu kosti. So Zen practice also prepares you for this. If you do this honestly and openly towards yourself. Tako da vam Zen praksa donosi i to ako vežbate otvoreni sami prema sebi. So the most important technique in Zen, be honest. That's it. Tako da je možda najvažnija tehnika u Zenu, budite iskreni. Everything else is just paraphernalia, like in the theater. The sets, the props, the clothes, the actors. What's most important? To je isto kao i u pozorištu, kako je postavljena bina, šta nose glumci, to dolazi na neku perifernu postavu. What's most important is one moment of clarity, 100% clear insight in your mind. Ono što je najvažnije. To je sto posto jasan um, otvoren u ovom momentu, u tom jednom jedinom momentu. And how can we test or check or make sure that this clarity arrived? I kako možemo biti sigurni da li je ta jasnoća došla? Kako provjeravamo? Well, in Zen we have a special set of devices for that called Kongans. U Zenu postoji specijalno sredstvo, nazovimo ga sredstvo, koje će sutra neki imati prilike da vide koan. So, kongans are situations with problems that you cannot solve with dualistic thinking or dualistic emotions. Koani su napravljeni tako da ne postoji mogućnost da ih rešite na osnovu dualnog razmišljanja ili dualnih emocija. When you have a kongan from the teacher that you cannot solve, that's when your peaceful and happy meditation is gone forever. He knows. Kada dođu takvi koani, onda sva ta mirna meditacija odlazi, znači, kao u vetar, jer potpuno razbite. So you can pretend to be a nice guy for a long time, but when your own frustration and anger gets you in the dharma room, and you want to destroy everything, just because you cannot answer a question, that's when you come to your own personal moment of truth. A i kada dođe taj moment da postavi učitelj koana, vi jednostavno niste sposobni da ga rešite, a on stvarno ume da iritira, dođe vam da razbijete sve. E tada dolazite do istine. And then you answer, oh my goodness, I cannot answer something by a Chinese Zen master 1200 years ago and I get so angry, what's wrong with me? I onda se zapitate o ovom Bože, da li je moguće da tamo neki učitelj od pre 1200 godina je nešto postavio, ja sada to ne mogu da rešim. Then, oh, human, no problem, it's just being human. 
And reverse is also true, after many weeks or months or sometimes years of work, it goes a little faster than years, you solve a kongan, and then you become so happy, king or queen of the universe, come out of the interview room and you're just beaming, like a nuclear device, you know, somewhere. And I say, is that it? Just because I solved the Kongan from a Zen master 1,200 years ago, that's the reason for this total and absolute joy? Yeah, maybe. It's human. <laughs> so, sooner or later you realize your own roller coaster of emotions and thoughts. And that, that's a wonderful realization, but you have to be able to get off that roller coaster from time to time. In Zen, we do not destroy the roller coaster. Very important. You're human, we're human, everyone's human, we have ups and downs. We do not destroy the roller coaster. But you have an off switch. You find the switch that renders the roller coaster motionless. No ups, no downs. Stop. And then, when you start again, you have your own little joystick. Then you can have some control. Ne uništavamo to, nego imamo dugme na koje možemo da isključimo, znači, da isključimo, da zustavimo taj moment koji ne ide više ni gore ni dole i nakon toga, kada već to možemo, onda koristimo jedan joystick i već počinjemo da upravimo. That's the moment when you can start helping other people, not before. To je moment kada možete da krenete da pomognete stvarno drugima pre toga. More questions? If there are no questions, we will start talking about Zen masters of 1,200 years ago. Ako nema pitanja, počet ćemo da govorimo o učiteljima koji su pre 1200 godina. Kratko ili možda duže pitanje. Recimo neke osnove. Iz recimo perspektive jednog Zen budiste, koja bi bila svrha života? Uh, the basically the the question is about the purpose of life but from from the position of Zen monk. Why were you born? <coughs> Why did you take this body? I think I don't remember quite well. <laughs> Uh, he don't remember. Srpski. On se ne seća kako je uzat hotel. Then more practice necessary. Onda je potrebno još prakse. Somebody tells you the reason of your life, steals your life. Neko ti kaže razlog tvojeg života, krade tvoj život. If you want to wake up to the very reason or reasons why you were born, practice meditation, Ask yourself, what is my correct job? And then you progress, progress, progress. Many illusions, many ideas. They will all appear and disappear. I onda tokom vežbanja pojavit će se mnoge iluzije, mnoge misli o svemu u tome i one će se pojaviti i nestati. So let me ask you, how do you know that your girlfriend is the true one? Usually, when that happens, she doesn't move away from your side or from your life. That's how you know. So similarly, when you have an answer in your heart, that answer doesn't move from the question. We call that intuitive answer. 
a mi to zovemo intuitivni odgovor. Calling it intuitive is not enough. You have to experience what is intuitive answer. And like I said, Kongan practice is very good for that. I in, intuitivno, ovako samo imati kao ideju, znači nije dovoljno, već moramo to stvarno osjetiti, a Kongan praksa je nešto najbolje za intuitivno. You don't have to suffer for that too much. Za to ne moramo da se pati. You only have to suffer your own dissatisfaction, frustration, etc., etc. Samo mora da patiš zbog svojih frustracija i tako. And when your I, my, me is gone, your intuition shines forth. I kada je to ja, moje, potpuno čisto, I didn't say the last word. Then your intuition, your clear mind is shining. I onda intuicija i taj čistum su potpuno bistri, bistri. And if the answer comes from there, you can trust that. I ako odgovor dođe od ako, to me možeš. If your relationship comes out of true love, you can trust that. At least one of these questions you seem to have solved already. <laughs> More questions? Long time ago in China. <laughs> in the Tang Dynasty, when Pai Chang Zen Master was up on the mountain with 800 monks sitting in a monastery, Nekada dan, kada je Panča u Zen manastiru sa svojih 900 monaka sede. Co? Ništa, mene interesuje prošlo puta kad ste bili. Ja sam razgovarao sa vašim prijateljem o lucidnim stojima i postavio sam pitanje da li ta praksa postoji uopšte u Zen budizmu. On mi odgovorio da nje nema, da je to samo tibetanska praksa i ništa, meni interesuje da li postoji u zemlju, da li se bavi neko tim stvarima. Po lucidni snovi je tako. He is interesting, the last time when you were here, he talked with your friends, also I suppose it's Sokon and Sunim, about lucid dreams. Is there any practice in Zen about that? And probably of course you know, says no, it's Tibetan practice, but not in Zen. Like dream yoga or something like that? Dream yoga. Zen is very simple. Zen is very simple. When you sleep, only sleep. Kada spavaš, samo spavaš. When you're awake, be 100% awake. Kada si budan, budi 100% budan. Not enough? Nije dovoljno. Good. So, uh, when you do mantra practice, Kada mantra, if you do this really, really correctly, ako to radiš stvarno, ako not to too da tight da... and not too loose, uh, ne previše stegnuto, a ne previše then this mantra automatically switches on if your dream state is unclear or burdened or troubled. Uh, onda ta mantra otvara to polje tih snova ako je bilo kakvi problem postoje sa snovima. That's enough. I to je sasvim dovoljno. You don't have to see the face of the ambulance. It's enough if the ambulance comes and does the job. Nije neophodno da vidimo ljude, znači one lica koji su u ambulantnim kolima, dovoljno je da oni dođu i neka završe samo posao. So Zen practice for dream, awakening, in the body, outside of the same practice. Same. Tako da u Zenu postoji ta jedna praksa i ona je apsolutno za sve, da li je u snovima, da li je ovako, da li je bilo kako, to je ta jedna praksa. Simple and clear is better than complicated. Jednostavno i jasno je mnogo bolje od komplikovanog. Simple and clear helps you in any kind of situation. And if very bad times come, Anything complex and complicated falls apart like that. Takva jedna jasna i jednostavna vežba pomaže u svim situacijama i čak kada dođe nešto komplikovano, potpuno se raspadne. More questions? Još pitanje? Yeah, back there. 
Ja sam pitam, da li je moguće u isto vreme praktikovati i zen i biti neke druge religije? Dakle, bilo da je hrišćanje, musliman ili apsolutno nebitno šta. Dakle, sa stanovišta zena, da li je to protivno? Pošto sa stanovišta, na primjer, hrišćanstva jeste protivno meditacija, ali sa stanovišta zena, da li tu postoje neki problemi? Pa i bio je za... Zapravo ovaj prethodni odgovor je bio sličan. It's about other religion. If you're practicing Zen, you're practicing meditation. Is it a problem to be a Christian or Muslim or something? No. Very good question. Zen does not depend on religion. Zen se ne zasniva na religiji, znači nije zavisno se. It brings the essence of any religion to you if you do this right. On donosi esenciju svih religija ako je radite praksu na pravi način. Historically, Zen came out of the merge of Taoism and Buddhism. Can you repeat, please? Historically. Aha, historically. Sa stanovišta istorija on dolazi kao posledica Taoizma i Budizma. But Zen is not Taoism or Budizm. Ali Zen nije ni Taoizm, nije ni Budizm. Zen really is characterized by the four principles that I mentioned. Do not depend on the scriptures. Directly pointing to human mind. Attain your true self, become Buddha. Transmission from mind to mind. You couldn't hear anything religious here. Niste mogli da čujete ništa religijozno. And that's the beauty of it. I to je lepota. It works in any kind of environment. Funkcioniš u svakom. With any kind of religion. Sa bilo kojom religijom. Out of loyalty and appreciation and a kind of professional kind of coherence, I'm a Buddhist monk. And that's okay. But it doesn't mean that Zen is a religious thing. Znači, u svoj poštovanju on jeste budistički monah, ali to ne znači nešto vezano. So, true Christians, they can ask, what is God? Istinski hrišćani može da postavi pitanje, šta je Bog? Or if you're shy of that, you can say, what is it that believes in God? Šta je to, može da postavi pitanje, ako je stiljiv, šta je to što veruje u Boga? So, translate that to any other religion, polytheistic, monotheistic, Works the same way. Atheists, same. I don't believe in anything. Good, great, fantastic. So what is it that doesn't believe in anything? He's the same. So, find that. Pa prema tome nađimo to. More questions? Jedan monaški dan, kako izgleda vaš? How is look one your monastic day? Starts very early. Starts at 4 o'clock. Then we have chanting at 4.20. Meditation at 5.10. We sit two times 40 minutes. Then breakfast at 7. Work at 7.30. Uh, for three hours. Then 10.30, we have a break. 11 o'clock comes the midday chanting for offering the meal. Twelve o'clock is lunch. Then a little rest, then between 1.30 and 4.30, again, three hours of work, which is optional. For guests, it's optional. If you feel energetic, you want to contribute, you can work. Five o'clock is dinner. 6.30 is chanting. 7 o'clock, one time meditation. By 8 o'clock, formal practice finishes. Then you find yourself suddenly so energetic that you cannot fall asleep. Then you go to the office and you start to use the internet. 
after two, three hours, around 10, 11 p.m., you realize, oops, mistake. <laughs> then you give yourself about five hours of sleep and you feel like total, absolute disaster next day. <laughs> and during all this time, nobody tells you what to do. But you know, you cannot miss any of this. And you say, what can I do? I'm so tired. And somebody compassionate with a big smile, not me, sits down with you. <laughs> and discusses this whole schedule, how we can change that. I onda diskutuje sa vama kako ćete promijeniti taj raspored, kako ćete se uklopiti. So, people change their biorhythm. A ljudi menjaju svoj bioritam. Change their habit. Menjaju svoje navike. And maybe they wake up for the first time 4 a.m. in their lives. A neki njih se možda i prvi put bude u četiri. I can see the smile on those faces that actually do that for a living, not just for practice. Za neke koji to ne radi, znači ne samo radi prakse. So, in the old days, and even now, it's not unfamiliar for people to wake up at four, to drive a car, to get to work, to earn money, to do your service. Nekima to ipak i nije strano da ustanu tako rano, da sedmu kola, da odudu nekog svog posla, da rade svoj posao i da... And we have a lot of fun, sometimes we miss evening practice, but then we miss evening practice together, like after a long retreat or some busy day. So we are not robots. We live in a temple, it's different. More questions? umirivanju uma i tako to u sursi meditacije, ali s obzirom da je to malo veći problem kod ljudi, da li postoji još neki tip ili još neka ispomoć ili neka ideja kako se izboriti sa svim tim? Pored meditacije, kako umiriti um? U toku meditacije, vezno za meditaciju, ali... Te misli koje nam non stop teku u glavi, kako se izboriti s tim, ja verujem da većina ima problem s tim. During the meditation, most of us have a big problem with the thoughts, a lot of thoughts. So is there any suggestion how to deal with that? Yeah. Da. Don't worry. Ne vrijem. Your thoughts are your good servants. A tvoje misli su ti dobre slobe. But are you the master of your thoughts? Become the master of your thoughts. And experience and guidance can give you that. You make your thoughts. How could there be anything wrong with that? Are you thinking about something that you don't want to? All of you are the master of your own emotions. Do you feel something you don't want to? So if there's a difference between what you want and what you have, then there is room for practice. Usually the hindrance is your own self-image. Najčešći problem je zapravo sobstvena slika u sebi sam. You put down your self-image and look at yourself directly, then the experience can be healing, relieving, liberating. I kada spustite tu sliku koju imate u sebi dole i pogledate direktno u sebe što stvarno jeste, eto viđenje svega toga može biti vrlo... Just forget your own ideas about yourself. Ono što je najbitnije, zaboravite ideju u samom sebi. Then soon you can become the master of your own thoughts and emotions, and that's good news. I vrlo brzo može čovjek postati gospodar svojih emocija i svojih misli i to je dobra vezna. Not just for you. Ne samo za tebe. Nadam se. Hvala.
Thank you. You're welcome. More questions? Everybody's meditating very well. <laughs> I can see how you look inside and only find peace and happiness. Life is interesting. Svi vi lepo meditirate sada i vidim kako svi gledate unutar sebe. Život je zanimljiv. Have you ever asked yourself why we see so little of our own psyche, of our own personality? Da li se nekad pitate zbog čega mi vidimo toliko malo u stvarnog namjera? That you have to have a special key to your own subconscious to open it up somehow? Da li imate taj neki ključ kojim otvarate sebe? Why is that? Zbog čega je to tako? By being born, why do we actually forget who we are? Zbog čega rođenjem zaboravljamo koji smo, šta smo mi stvarno? Why do we have to have this kind of weird, inverted thinking that you just cannot follow your own desires and your own attractions and your own ambition, whatever, to get to the truth. Why? Zbog čega imamo taj neki uvrnut i devamo se zbog kog pratimo svoje ambicije, svoje želje kako bi ustanovali kosmo. Why do we get into trouble? Zbog čega ulazimo u taj problem? Why do we do stupid things? Zbog čega radimo neke glupe stvari? Why do we lie? Zbog čega lažemo? Why do we break our best relationships? Zbog čega razbijamo naše najbolje veze? Why do we intoxicate ourselves? Zbog čega punimo se velikim glupostima? Why do we make wars? Zbog čega pravimo ratove? So, why is all this happening to us on this earth when we seem to want only peace and happiness and do the best to each other? Why is this happening? I zbog čega se sve to dešava kada mi u suštini želimo sve najbolje nama i drugima oko nas i želimo da uživamo. The difference between what we want and what we have gives you the idea how much karma we do not see. I tu možemo da iskoristimo ono što imamo u odnosu na ono što želimo da imamo kao neki uvid kakvu mi karmu zapravo ne vidimo. We are totally covered by our own attachments. Mi smo potpuno obuzeti svojim vezivanjem. So that's why it's so easy to put human beings into the faulty, the imperfect, the sinful box. It's not true. I zbog toga je delo tako jednostavno, pusti, ako sam dobro razumio, pusti čoveka u neku kutiju, ispakovati ga na neko mesto. Sinful. Znači ide kutija greha ili već... Da pakujemo sebe u neku kutiju greha i stavljamo negde po strani. Ali to nije istina. All of that is not true. But it's also not true that we are the top of the totem pole, the homo sapiens, sapiens, uh, the absolute wisdom and king of the universe. That also, that's also not true. Ali isto tako nije ni tačno da smo mi nekom vrhu, nekog lanca, da smo mi ti koji smo najmodri, misli se na ljude. To također nije tačno. And so it seems, in general, that... By being born into a human body, we gave ourselves and each other a very big task. How you perform this task is totally up to you. But to cast off your attachments, to become free from your karma, to wake up to actually who we are, is not easy. Ali da se otkačimo, da se odvežemo od te karme, to baš i nije tako lako. But it's possible. Ali je moguće. Any last questions? One or two? I da li ima jedno ili dva posljednje pitanja? Odgovorite nam na ta sva pitanja koje to a lot of questions, so please answer your question. Of course not. I ask, you answer. You ask, I answer. These questions are actually not for here and now. These are what we call motivational questions. Ovo nisu pitanja za odgovaranje, ovo je nešto što se postavlja kao motivacijom. I do not believe there's anybody who is not interested in this. We all are. On veruje da niko od nas ovdje prisutnih nije nezainteresovan, svi su zainteresovani za ta pitanja. But we all filter these interests throughout own religion, 
ideas, etc., etc. Ali svi mi filtriramo te, ta naše pitanje kroz neke ideje, religiju koju... Pravi. We put them to the back burner, to something which is not so important. A mi sve to ostavimo negde po strani, to je kao ne... Why? Zbog čega? Many times we are afraid of the answers. Mnogo puta se plašimo odgovor. Will the answer change me? Da li će odgovori... Will I lose something just because of discovering something I haven't seen before? Da li će to promeniti mene ako vidim nešto što do sada nisam vidio? And at the same time we are desperate for change. We want to improve. We want to become better. But we are afraid of changing at the same time. Ali u isto vreme mi želimo da napredujemo, želimo da idemo na nešto bolje, ali se ipak plašimo promjenu. So human being is very interesting. Tako da ljudsko biće je vrlo interesantno. We are capable of insight and awakening and we carry all this junk in our own backyard, in our own subconscious, in our own history. Why? Interesantno je jer svi imamo kapacitet probuđenja i napuštanja te karme, ali opet volimo da mi tu ipak nosimo negde pozadi, da se držimo toga. Zbog čega? We are capable of logic and reason and wisdom and we carry all these killer instincts in ourselves. Mi smo sposobni, znači logično razmišljamo, imamo mogućnosti, znači sa tom nekom mudrošću, ali ipak držimo u sebi te neke ubiločke instinkte. We can become happy and peaceful and we have all these opposites inside, all these emotions and thoughts conflicting with one another, throwing around good and bad and high and low. Why? Now these are questions you can deal with. I to su pitanja sa kojima vi možete sigurno da se... But if you think, you will never attain the answers. Ali ako i u kom trenutku razmišljate o tome, nećete dostići. Only your thinking will go around, 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 like a dog chasing its own tail. Vaše razmišljanje može samo da vas vodi u kruh, u kruh kao pas koji trče za svojim repom. Emotions, same. Pratiti emocije. Follow feelings, then only around, around, around. Pratiti osjećanje i emocije, isto se vratite kao pas. You stop thinking, you stop making emotions, you come back to this point, mind becomes clear, like a mirror, attain this moment, wake up. Ako ostavite, znači prestanete da pratite misli i vratite se ovom momentu, sve će postati vrlo jasno, vi ćete pravići. So I hope that one day, maybe tomorrow, we will have a chance to practice together. Tako da se on nada da, a to će i biti sutra, pošto sutra imamo jedan dan retrita u Nišu, da ćemo svi zajedno vežbati. Attain enlightenment. Dostići probuđenje. And save all beings from suffering. I spasiti sva bića od patnje. Thank you very much for your attention. You've been wonderful. Thank you very much. Hvala svima. Hvala! Vidimo se!